Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an EC2 instance using Terraform in AWS Cloud. So if you look at this diagram, what I'm actually going to do is, I am going to set up an EC2 instance in AWS Cloud, and then I'm going to install Terraform on that EC2 instance, okay? Install Terraform on that EC2 instance. I am going to create an IAM role, and I'm going to attach that IAM role to that EC2 instance so that this EC2 instance, right, which has Terraform installed, it should be able to, um, you know, access AWS Cloud in order to provision more EC2 instances, right? So which IAM role I'm going to create or which policy I'm going to attach, you see here? So you need to have Amazon EC2 full access policy, okay? So this is actually more secure way, right? Instead of, you know, using your access keys and secret keys. Why? Because my EC2 instance is already running in um, AWS Cloud. So why I have to use my access keys and secret key, right? So, so this is the recommended option, creating an IAM role with this uh, policy, right? So this is what we are going to learn in this particular video, okay? So awesome, so let's get started. So like I mentioned, I do have my EC2 instance already set up. Uh, I don't think that has Terraform installed. So I'm going to connect to that. So that is the EC2 instance. Let's see if I have Terraform installed. Okay, so I don't have Terraform installed, right? So I'm going to start with uh, setting up Terraform first. So if you click on this link, so this is the link which has all the information to install Terraform. So I'm going to quickly run through that. I also have a video as well, so which is over here. So if you want, you can watch that. I'm going to quickly run through it. So the way you can uh, install Terraform is, yes, you can go to Terraform website and then you can use this link. Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, so it is going to come as a zip file. So you have to install unzip. So I install unzip and then using that unzip utility, I'm actually unzipping Terraform. Once you unzip this, you are going to have this Terraform installable. Okay, perfect. And then let's move into the user bin directory so that you can access Terraform from anywhere, right? So I moved into user bin. Now if I go ahead and then say Terraform, you see here? So I'm able to see the Terraform version. Perfect, right? So we got what we actually wanted, perfect. So now our Terraform has been installed. Okay, great. So now let me go back to the instruction. Okay, so let me expand. So if you see here, yes, we did the take care of the pre-request, perfect. Okay, but what we are going to do is we are going to create an IAM role, right? So that is the approach we are going to take, right? We are not going to use access keys and secret keys. We are going to go with more secure option, which is nothing but creating an IAM role with this policy. Okay, awesome. So let me go to AWS console, go to IAM. So I'm going to go to the role and I'm going to create a role. Okay, so you're going to choose EC2, click on next. And then this is the policy, right? Amazon EC2 full access, which is nothing but over here, yeah. So copy that or you can also type it there, not a big deal. Yeah, there you go, see, this is the policy. So click on that one and then say next. I'm not going to give any tag, say next. And then let's give some name. So let's say my EC2 Terraform. Okay, I already have that role, but I'm going to give a different, different role, EC2 Terraform TF role. Okay, so I'm going to give this name and then click on create role. Perfect, right? So our role has been uh, created. So now let's go back to our AWS console. So we have to attach that role to that Terraform instance, right? I mean, where we have installed Terraform. So click on that instance, go to actions, go to security, modify IAM role, and then we can uh, search here, right? So this is the one, right? You see here, my EC2 TF role, okay, perfect. And then click on save. So basically I'm attaching that IAM role 
to that EC2 instance where I have installed Terraform. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Let me close this. Okay. So, so far so good. So, we have created an IAM role. We have assigned that IAM role to that EC2 instance. Perfect. Now, all we have to do is, you know, start creating the Terraform file. Okay. So, basically, you know, um, we are going to create a EC2 instance using Terraform, right? So, for that, we are going to uh, create variables files you see here so let's start with the variable files uh, so where I'm going to define my region my key name instance type and all other information right like security group and tag name and AM ID and whatnot okay so if you look at the AM ID yes I want to uh, provision a Ubuntu EC2 instance but if you want to provision let's say Red Hat you know all you have to do is just pick up uh, the AMI from here right so let's say you want to provision Red Hat so just type Red Hat here and then you can pick up whichever the AMI you want and then you can replace it over here, right? So that is the variable file and then this is my implementation file, right? So main.tf where um, I have all the information where I'm calling, uh, you know, I'm using those variables. So if you see here, this is the block for creating the security group, okay? And of course, this is the provider, right? Provider, you know, AWS provider with the region. Uh, and then this is the uh, block for uh, creating an EC2 instance and then where we are attaching that security group, whatever we have created, uh, you know, over here. And then this is for creating the uh, Elastic IP address, right? And then, you know, these are like standard command, right? Like Terraform, Inet, Plan and Apply and we'll talk about that, okay? Uh, perfect. So let's get started here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my EC2 instance. I want to first create the folder and then go inside that folder okay perfect and then I want to start with uh, creating this variable file so basically uh, variables.tf is nothing but this is the file where you can define all those terraform variables okay so it is not advisable um, to hard code in your main.tf file, okay? So this is the file, right? So let me copy all these variables, which I'm going to use it in the main.tf file. Okay, so AWS region, yeah, so this is my region. So if you want to change the region, you can actually mention that over here. And then this is the key name. So this key name is nothing but my AWS uh, perm key, right? For example, if I go to key pairs, we go to key pairs so these are the keys right you know you can use any one of the keys in order to uh, in, you know these are the keys you would be using to attach to your uh, new ec2 instance which you are provisioning right so you, i can use any one of these key so that is what that key means okay and then instance type yeah and then security group right like name of your security group and then the tag name and then the AMID, right? So if you want to change the AMID, you are going to change it over here, okay? Perfect. So let's save this file. And then let's go ahead and then create our main.tf file, right? So this is a main implementation file, okay? And then let's start copying the code. So this is nothing but the provider, right? So that's the AWS provider. So if you are going to provision in Azure Cloud and then your provider would be different, right? Okay. And then let's start copying this block of code for creating the security group. Okay, so as you can see here, so so basically you see here name of the security group. I'm actually picking that up from a variable file here, right? So that that would be so this is the uh, sorry, so this is the name of the security group, right? Okay. So I want to open up all these port numbers. So if you want to open up more port numbers, you can definitely add, right? Ingress and then egress. So outbound, all the ports should be open, right? Starting from zero to here, so right? everything is open. So that is the uh, security group, right? So now let's go ahead and then create EC2 instance, right? So let's, let's go ahead and then add that code for creating the EC2 instance and then also Elastic IP address. So let's do that. Okay, you see here, so this, this block of code is for creating an EC2 instance. 
So that's the AMA ID which we are you know picking up from the variable files and then also the key name, instance type, tag name, everything we are actually picking up from the variable file, right? Okay, and then the elastic IP address, okay? So that's it, right? So if you're wondering, you know, how I got uh, this block of code, it's very simple, right? If you go to Google, if you type um, AWS Terraform provider, right? Or AWS Terraform, okay? So it will take you over here. Let's say you want to create EC2 instance. Just type EC2 instance. So type EC2 instance, you see here? So that's the code for you to create an EC2 instance, right? Same thing, or let's say you want to create uh, you know, S3 bucket. Amazon S3 bucket, select this one, see? So that is how you know, you're know you going to create S3 bucket. You got it, right? It's pretty easy uh, to, to refer the uh, Terraform documentation in order to create uh, any resources of what you actually like. Okay, awesome. So let's go back. So we have created uh, those files. Now what we are going to do, we are going to execute uh, Terraform commands, okay? So basically the first thing first, right? So what we have to do, we have to execute Terraform inert command. So what this is actually going to do, this is going to uh, download AWS plugins, okay? So, so that's a very important step. And then it is also going to initialize your Terraform file. So if you go and type ls minus a, you see here. So it is going to create all the Terraform, you know, files and all, okay? So perfect. So, so, you know, everything is good. And then what we can do is we are going to execute Terraform plan command. So Terraform plan command, command, you know, so what it is going to do, it is going to read your Terraform files. It is going to read your Terraform files and then it is going to clearly tell you what exactly it is actually going to do. So as we can see here, it says that, you know, it is going to create, right? it is going to perform create uh, uh, operation. And then it says that, you know, following actions will be performed, right? So this instance will be created. I mean, sorry, this is Elastic IP. This uh, IP will be created. And then this EC2 instance will be created. And then this says that this is a security group which will be actually created, right? So we already got like, you know, three resources to add, right? So if you want to, uh, you know, go ahead and then what you have to do is you have to say Terraform apply, okay? So go ahead and then perform Terraform apply command and then enter. So what apply command is going to do, in turn it is going to call Terraform plan again, right? So you see here, it is also asking us for our approval, right? So what you can do, you can go ahead and then type yes. So now Terraform apply command is being executed. So Terraform apply command is the one which is actually going to build the infrastructure for you, okay? That may take uh, some time depending on uh, the network speed. Okay, perfect, right? So now it says that three resources are created. So if you go to AWS console, Wow, see here? So this was the EC2 instance, right? Which we actually created uh, using Terraform. And uh, if you go to security, and you see here, this was the security group name, right? And then we have added uh, port number 22 and port 8080, right? And then if I also want to see my Elastic IP, go to Elastic IPs. Wow, see here? So this was the Elastic IP address which we created using Terraform, right? So yes, yeah, pretty uh, straightforward. Right? And then let me actually show you a couple of uh, useful commands, right? So now, uh, let's say if you wanted to know what are the different uh, sources created from Terraform, you can also perform Terraform state list. You see here? So three resources, right? So we are also able to see those three uh, resources as well over here, right? And then there is also a command called Terraform destroy. Let's say that, you know, whatever you have created using Terraform, if you want to destroy all of them, you can also perform Terraform destroy command. So if you execute this command, it is going to ask you, do you want to perform Terraform destroy? And then if you type yes, see here? 
if you type yes all the resources will be destroyed whatever was created out of terraform all those resources will be destroyed using terraform right see here these three resources got destroyed if i go back to aws console if i say refresh wow see here whatever the ec2 instance as well as the security group elastic ips see here everything got to destroy right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you would provision an ec2 instance using terraform in aws cloud thank you for watching the video guys